well, it was just something amusing and something different. This was probably the first time that um, uh, this kind of taxidermy was, was, was done in this country, and, and Potter did it in big style. He created things that have enormous appeal. Ordinary people were fascinated by them, inspired by them, loved them, or some of them hated them and were repelled by them. But no one that I know of ever looked at Walter Potter's stuff, his great tableaus, and had no reaction. Walter Potter was not a rebel. I think he just was quite a, a set man, and that's how he wanted to do it, and that was the right way for him, and didn't follow everybody else. He took the idea of the cabinet of curiosity and combined that with like a P.T. Barnum uh, attitude, a, sh a real showmanship. This was just what he was meant to do, regardless of anything going around him. We were in that crazy, crazy time of realism broke through everything that had been standard and classical before. I think the world itself, because of, you know, things that were changing, allowed for these things to flourish and happen.